Megafauna simply means big creatures and when we think of big creatures today we tend to think about African elephants, hippos, rhinos and we associate them with Africa in particular. But what isn't often realized is that up to 10 to 40,000 years ago, which is really a blink of an eye in terms of earth history and, and in ecological history, the whole world looked like East Africa and the safari parks look today. So North America was teeming with lions and mammoths, Australia had giant creatures, the Amazon had giant creatures, Europe had elephants and hippos and rhinos. And in this conference we want to understand what are the consequences of the disappearance of these great large creatures around the world. We'll start off by exploring why these, these creatures were, went uh, extinct. And this has been much debated, and there's a lot of controversy about the relative roles of human arrival versus climate change. And, but we'll touch on some of this controversy at the start of the meeting. Uh, beyond that, we'll move on to the question that interests us much more in this meeting, is, which is what is the consequence of the loss of these creatures? Uh, what happened to Australia's ecosystems when the large creatures went extinct? What happened to the Siberian landscapes when the mammoths went extinct? On the second day of the conference, we want to explore some of the more contemporary issues. The extinction of these large creatures isn't a story that's over in the past. When we turn to the Congo Basin or parts of Africa, we're seeing massive losses of elephants. In the last decade alone, 65% uh, of the Congo Basin's elephants have been slaughtered. So this extinction of the megafauna is still ongoing. And we want to understand in this meeting what are the consequences of the loss of elephants in, in Africa, the loss of rhinos in southern Africa and, and, and similar events. One of the reasons why this question of megafaunal extinction is interesting is that it makes us re-evaluate uh, uh, what role humans have played in altering the planet on timescales much longer than we are used to. We often think of major human impacts on the planet being a product of the industrial revolution. Uh, the 18th century, or if you push further back with the advent of agriculture. And the controversy about the human role in the extinction of megafauna and the consequences of that extinction on the planet and the functioning of the planet as a whole stretches back major human impacts on the natural world uh, to before even the dawn of agriculture and makes us question uh, what is our relationship with nature, what is a natural relationship between humanity and the, and the rest of nature. So there's some interesting philosophical aspects that, that, that come out from, from this question. One thing we want to do in this conference is really reignite and, and, and open, open up the debate about the, the role of reintroducing megafauna. What scope is there for bringing back large creatures to landscapes where they have long been extinct? We have an incredibly exciting array of the leading experts uh, in this area. And this ranges from people who specialize in, in the archaeology and uh, the paleoecology, trying to understand what the world was like in these times of megafauna. Well, how, what did they eat? How did they alter ecosystems? What was the climate like? Uh, we also have conservation scientists describing the, the consequences now of the loss of megafauna, what's happening in Africa as these megafauna are disappearing. We have uh, molecular biologists exploring the potential of de-extinction, of bringing back me megafauna. And we also have uh, thinkers looking at some of the ethical questions and some of the difficulties of having a world full of large fauna and whether this is something that we should even try to do or accept that this is a, a part of the past that, that we, we, we cannot go back to.